Hello guys, here's the next part for modeling the excavator with Blender 2.8 and in this one we are going to start creating the arm. Of course there are several ways to do this, I decide to add a cube between these connectors. I press the S key to scale it down and then I press G and Z to move it upwards. And there can be a small gap between the connectors and the cube. Ok, but it also has to fit along the Y axis to this ring that we added. And to make it fit exactly you can use snapping, for example to vertices. Then I go to face selection, select this face. Then I press G and Y to move it along the Y axis and I hold the control key pressed to enable snapping. And the same I do for this face. Ok, but I switch to wireframe mode, because it's a bit hard to see if my snapping is really exact. And here in the wireframe mode you can see that we have to snap again. And now it is really exactly snapped to this outer vertex. Ok, in the next step I move the face at the bottom a bit down, like this. And then I select the edges at the sides and press Ctrl and B to add a bevel. Ok, now we have a nicely rounded part. The face at the top I scale along the Y axis. Ok, and then I bring the whole part upwards by pressing G and Z. Also increase the size a bit and now I'm happy with the base shape of the lower arm. In the next step we have to cut a hole into this arm at exactly the position where the hole of the cylinder is. And to do this we use again a trick, we just select the edges of the hole of the ring. Then I duplicate this by pressing Shift and D, press F to fill. And then I press E to extrude it and we have the perfect cutter to create this hole with the difference operation. I select the mesh by pressing L, then P to turn the mesh into a separate object. And the only thing I have to do now is to define the arm as a boolean target in the panel of my fast calf add-on. I changed the name to arm and the other one to cutter, so that we can see in the outliner which object is which. And then with the cutter selected I just press difference. But I unchecked the option to delete the cutter because I have the feeling that we will need it later on, perhaps. Ok, we have the hole created, now we can extrude the arm a bit. And for the bucket we already set the pivot point so that we can rotate it like that. And of course we will do this later on for the arm as well, so that we can have a pivot point at about this location so that you can rotate it like we did for the bucket. And when we define the bucket as a child object of the arm, and then rotate the arm, then the bucket will be moved as well. But this will be done in a later step, in the next part we are going to add some connectors like this one, and another one at about this location. And the most important thing is that the model is functional and that we can print and use it in the end. So if you like the tutorial and my channel don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions add these to the comments below. And you can support me by being my patron this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.